Lord's kindness and my Lord. boy who lived come to die You can't help. Harry, you wonderful boy. You brave, brave man. Let us walk. Professor, what is that? Something beyond either of our hands. of Voldemort sent here to die. And exactly where are we? I was going to ask you that. Where would you say that we are? Well, it looks like King's Cross Station. Only cleaner. And without all the trains. King's Cross, is that right? This is, as they say, your party. I expect you now realize that you and Voldemort have been connected by something other than fate. Just that night in Godric's Hollow all those years ago. So it's true then, sir. A part of him lives within me, doesn't it? Indeed. It was just destroyed many moments ago by none other than Voldemort himself. You were the Horcrux he never meant to make, Harry. to go back, haven't I? Oh, that's up to you. I have a choice. Oh, yes. We're in King's Cross, you say? I think if you so desire, you'll be able to board a train. And where would it take me? <laughs> On. Hold
Voldemort has the Elder Wand. True. And the snake's still alive. Yes. And I've nothing to kill it with. Help will always be given at Hogwarts, Harry, to those who ask for it. I've always prized myself on my ability to turn a phrase. Words are, in my not so humble opinion, our most inexhaustible source of magic, capable of both inflicting injury and remedying it. But I would, in this case, amend my original statement to this. Help would always be given at Hogwarts to those who deserve it. Do not pity the dead, Harry. Pity the living. And above all, all those who live without love. Professor, my mother's Patronus was a doe, wasn't it? It's the same as Professor Snape's. It's curious, don't you think? Actually, if I think about it, it doesn't seem curious at all. I'll be going now, Harry. Professor! Is this all real? Or is it just happening inside my head? Of course it's happening inside your head, Harry. Why should that mean that it's not real? Professor, what should I do?